Fine-tuning your English. Formal versus informal sentence structure. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our series on English language learning. Today, we're diving into a very important aspect of writing. The difference between formal and informal sentence structure. Not only will we identify what makes a sentence informal, but we'll also learn how to correct it and make it more formal. So, let's jump right in. First and foremost, it's crucial to understand the difference between formal and informal sentence structures. Formal writing typically includes complete sentences, standard punctuation and a serious tone. It avoids contractions, slang, and abbreviations. On the other hand, informal writing can have incomplete sentences, emoticons, casual language, and contractions. It's more relaxed and resembles everyday conversation. Now that we've discussed the differences, let's look at how to identify informal sentence structures. We're primarily looking for three things, contractions, slang or colloquial language, and casual or incomplete sentences. Contractions are shortened versions of words or phrases. Examples include, don't, instead of, do not, and, it's, instead of, it is. Slang or colloquial language refers to words and phrases that are more commonly used in casual conversation than in formal writing. An example might be saying, gonna, instead of, going to. Casual or incomplete sentences can be anything from one word replies to phrases that don't have a subject or verb. For instance, had a great time at the party. This sentence is missing the subject, which makes it informal. Once we've identified informal sentence structures, our next step is to correct them. Here's how. Replace contractions with their full versions. For example, change, don't, to, do not, and it's, to, it is. Substitute slang or colloquial language with more formal, standard English. Instead of gonna, write, going to, Rewrite casual or incomplete sentences into full, complete sentences. Had a great time at the party, becomes, I had a great time at the party. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you identify and correct informal sentence structures, the easier it'll become. And that wraps up our discussion on formal versus informal sentence structures. Keep these points in mind as you work on improving your English writing skills. Practice identifying and correcting informal sentences. Before you know it, you'll be a pro at formal writing. As always, we hope this video has been helpful. Stay tuned for more lessons in our English language learning series. Until next time, happy learning!